Maxine is disappointing, and here's why. Together, I hate you! I'm a huge fan of the X franchise, so I'm not kidding around when I say Maxine is disappointing. But first, let's take a look at every movie in the X franchise. The series begins with Pearl, my favorite out of the three. The story follows a girl named Pearl who wants to become a star. And uh, let's just say it doesn't go so well for her. I'm a So just like any normal human being, she goes around unaliving people. She's just like me for real. And I'm not gonna say anything else about this movie, because this movie is awesome. It's a thriller and Pero is a psychopath. And it's easily an 9 out of 10 movie. Moving on, we have X, the sequel to Pero. And it's about a 90 years old Pero who just wants a guy to... Had to see. I know that grannies can relate. So when a bunch of adult actors visit her house to film, she starts to unalive them. Like, come on, man. I thought you wanted someone to your tussy so why are you unaliving them this movie is amazing and i swear it's not because the beginning is like a con video i mean i'm not complaining i had a lot of exercise watching that part this movie takes thriller to a whole other level the way people are unalived is just freaking amazing and oh my god there is one scene with jenna ortega and i gotta say it's it's uh, it's so bad oh my god this is a very sinful scene what is going on here that's a nice guy this movie is my second favorite i like the gore i like the <laughs> and i like the twist at the end the twist is what leads us to the third movie and uh as you can tell from the title i don't like it very much the story follows maxine the only survivor of x and before i cook this movie i want to tell you what i love this movie is so artistic i promise you you won't see any artistic movie compared to this movie it just has a whole other vibe to it the energy to this movie is so refreshing it's got the 90s horror movie vibe and i love it um, Unfortunately, this is also the bad thing about this movie. This movie is so stylistic, it just feels so different from the other movie. The movie takes this 90s mystery horror thing to a whole other level. Even the thriller in this movie is just so 90s vibe energy thing to it. I don't know if you understand, but compared to Paro and X, the way people are unalived in Maxine is just so anticlimactic and stylistic. It's almost like the creativity and energy for the unaliving people is just gone. Gone. It's my least favorite but it is still good also the meat beat ratio in this movie is so low there's just only one scene where you can just touch your meat and that's very disappointing for some people but me i'm jesus boy so i don't really care. but i gotta say there is a twist in this movie that is quite interesting and it connects this movie with x and i really love it but there is something even more disappointing than this movie and that is despicable me 4 check out my nest re 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 what the fuck <laughs>